Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about where to stand in the batter's box. And we're going to talk a, 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 about this in a couple different fronts because I get to ask this all the time. Where should I stand in the box? Where did you stand in the box? Should I make adjustments and move around? So let's kind of get into all that. Before we do, today's video is sponsored by Rucket Sports. Uh, Rucket makes top quality baseball gear and equipment. We use a ton of their stuff with our Antonelli baseball teams. We highly recommend you check them out. Go to the description box below. Click the link there. You get 15% off of your order at Rucket. Definitely go over and check it out. Okay, so standing in the batter's box. Let's first start off with kind of, um, you know, when I look at players and talk to players, uh, what I typically see, okay? So a little bit of it depends on the type of, of hitter that you are, okay? So if you're a hitter that, that likes the ball in, right, you want the ball in, well, typically you're going to get on the plate a little bit, right? I'm going to try to create that ball in, okay? If I want the ball away, well, then I'm going to probably get off the plate a little bit, right? So now I create that ball that might be in if I move off the plate. Well, now it feels a little bit more away, so I can get extended a little bit more, okay? Um, as far as front or back of the box, it really depends. I think at a lower level, like when I think about myself at a lower level, um, you know, I, I typically move up in the box a little bit more, um, and I'm talking real low level. Uh, for typically, at least I felt like for hitters that um, have pretty good bat speed, right? You're playing at a low level. Um, you want to get a fastball. You feel like maybe the fastballs that you're facing aren't really tough to hit, right? They're not super challenging. And so you move up on the box a little bit, right? You don't usually see a lot of young players moving way back in the box. And I'm talking again, like little league, I'm talking 13 and 14, right? You get to the big diamond and no one can reach the plate. Like a lot of players just start moving up in the box. Now, as you get older, typically you're going to see players start to move back in the box, right? Because again, you only got four tenths of a second to, to see the ball, recognize it, react to it. And so I want as much time as possible, especially when you start moving up in levels and start facing pitchers that are going to throw really hard. So when I got older, I moved to the back of the box. When I played professionally, I was right on the back line, okay? And I was there pretty much all the time. So um, those are some of the things, again, that you'll see with hitters. And again, everybody is a little bit different, but I do think it typically, a lot of it starts where with um, a, what type of hitter you are, okay? Now, again, for me, um, I, I like the ball a little bit in, and so I used to try to get on the plate a little bit, nothing crazy, but I would, I'd be on the plate a little bit. And again, I'd be back as I got older. When I got into, when I was in college and professional baseball, again, I wanted to give myself as much time as possible to see the ball, okay? If I could move, if I could take the pitcher instead of 60 feet, six inches, if I could push him back to 65 feet or 70 feet, I, I would do that, right? That would make my life a lot easier. So it doesn't make much sense when guys are throwing 90 plus for me to move up in the box. At least I didn't feel that way, okay? So I moved in the back of the box. Now, um, one question I get a lot from people is, should I move around in the box depending on the uh, pitcher, okay? So if I'm facing a pitcher that day um, that likes to throw everything away, should I get on the plate? If I'm facing a pitcher that likes to come in with everything, should I get off the plate? If I'm facing a pitcher that throws a lot of off-speed and breaking balls, should I move up in the box? If I'm facing a pitcher that throws really hard, should I move back in the box? Now, um, I do think you can make some subtle adjustments, right? So if I'm facing a guy that maybe really throws a, a hard, heavy two-seamer in, right, you know, maybe I want to get off the plate a little bit to get the ball off me a, a little. Um, you know, I might make a, a, a slight, slight adjustment or I'll see guys making adjustments. Um, but I always felt as a hitter that I didn't want to move around too much in the box, okay? Like I said, maybe slight adjustments, but I didn't want to go from one day being way at the back of the box to one day being way in the front of the box to the next day being way off the plate to them being way on the plate and then moving around in between at-bats against different pitchers. Uh, and this is the reason why I didn't really like to do that. For me, again, and this might go against what other people and players feel, um, 
But I feel like one of my skills, and a skill that I think everyone needs to have if you want to play at a high level, is the ability to understand the strike zone, con- control the strike zone, right? And so to swing at your pitches and to lay off pitches that aren't your pitches and lay off pitches that are, that are not strikes, right? And I always felt like when I'm in the box, right, and I'm typically in the back of the box, I'm t- typically a little bit on the plate, well, now I know my strike zone, okay? So after seeing ball after ball after ball after ball thrown and released, that when the ball is in, I know where in is because I've been there a lot. So I know where the plate is, okay? And I know where I am in relation to that plate because I've been doing it for a really long time, okay? So again, when that ball's in, instead of me chasing it, right, I'm very confident immediately when I pick that ball up, that, okay, that ball's in, boom, that's in. Or that ball's away, or that ball's low, or that ball's high, okay? Obviously, I'm not always 100% correct. Um, but it was a skill that I thought I, I was pretty good at. Again, reading the pitch and being able to decide if it's a strike or a ball, if it's a pitch I want to swing at or not, right? And I felt like if I'm moving around a lot, right? So if all of a sudden I'm way on the plate, well, now that pitch that I typically recognize as in, well, I see it, but but now I'm more on the plate than I was before. And so now I think it's in, but oh, I'm on the plate, but that's a strike. Or if I get off the plate too far, right? Well, maybe that pitch away that now looks, okay, that ball looks away, but I'm way off the plate now, now it's a strike. Does that make sense? Um, and same thing with front and back. Now, again, some hitters, some hitters move all over the place, right? And maybe they're just better than I was, I don't know. Um, but that's, that's one thing I always felt like is when I'm in the box, and again, maybe I make slight, slight adjustments, very slight adjustments based on the pitcher, or maybe the situation calls for me to move a little bit around, right? Maybe there's a situation where, again, uh, they want me to move a runner over, okay? So I've got to try to drive a ball to the right side of the field. Well, maybe I just cut off the plate just a little bit so now I can create the ball a little bit further away from me so that I'm able to hit the ball to the right side, right? Well, that's a small adjustment, right? Not a huge adjustment. And so those are kind of the small adjustments I'm talking about. But I, I never personally made big, big adjustments because I wanted to be able to be in a very similar spot so that, again, I've trained my eyes and my body to understand really quickly if a ball's in or away, if it's down or if it's up. And again, if I'm moving around, well, now those in balls look different. Those away balls look, every ball looks different because I'm in a whole totally new part of the batter's box, okay? So that's, again, that's kind of how I feel on this, but even more than what I feel like, um, I'm interested to know what you guys think and what you guys do. Are you someone that moves around a lot in the box depending on the pitcher? Are you going to move way up on a slow pitcher, way back on a fast pitcher, in or away, depending on if they like to come in or away? Or are you someone that likes to stay in the same spot and either always stay in the same spot? Or are you someone that will make subtle adjustments, again, depending on all of those things? So interested to hear that let me know in the comment section below again what you guys think and we can chat there subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already give it a thumbs up share the video with all your friends check the description box below we got a bunch of stuff down there as well and that's all i got thanks so much guys for watching i really really appreciate it and we'll talk to you later